race bike. These bikes uh, are currently being stored in the National Motorcycle Museum and uh, being looked after and refreshed and of course still luckily for us you. Museum. Um, you have a few of these bikes obviously in the collection there and fortunately for everybody you still use these bikes quite often. Yes Steve we do, we've got um, pretty much all the X-Works Norton Rotaries in, in the collection. Um, they're all living hall five of the museum which is the competition hall and just recently we've done a, uh, we've revamped all the all the halls, all the displays, reconfigured all the displays, and now we've got a special dedicated um, rotary um, feature, including obviously both of the Robert Dunlop bikes that uh, that we own, all the other works bikes, and of course including uh, Steve Hislop's uh, 92 senior winner, the White Charger. Yeah, a bike I've been lucky enough to ride uh, over at Jerby on the Isle of Man, and uh, you know, a great bit of kit, of course, and then. To be quite honest with you, I was quite surprised how good and easy they were to ride. Back in the day, a lot of the riders, the racers used to complain there was no engine braking, so they had difficulties, you know, getting the bikes to turn, and it was more like riding the two-stroke. But in all fairness, as far because I'm such a young man, and being used to the modern-day slipper clutches and electronics, it's pretty much similar to riding a modern road bike. Do you get to ride these at all? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm um, very lucky in, in, in that respect. Um, I mean, the job's quite mundane a lot of the time. It's like, like any job. It's, um, there's all the normal things to do with running, running any business or, um, organization. But, um, yeah, it is, it is one of the highlights. And of course, last year we ran them all at the Classic TT, as, as you'll remember. And, uh, we ran 13 of the X-Works bikes with people like um, John McGiddis on Steve Islop's bike, um, William, as you can see, rode his dad's bike, um, Michael rode the other Robert Dunlop bike, so we had a lot of current um, racing stars on the road trips and, and some stars from the past as well, um, and Steve, current, just only just past. Um, and. Um, and prior to that, we, we took them all, we got them all uh, sorted out. It took us about six months to get them all race ready, because you can imagine all these guys um, doing a lap of the TT course at the, at, the classic, uh, at the classic TT at the Manx. They all had to be race prepared. And uh, we were lucky enough to take them all to Rockingham. And uh, I rode, uh, me and a few of the guys and the mechanics, just to get the tyres scrubbed in and what have you, and just make sure everything was OK. Um, and I think I rode about six or eight of them in one day. So that's that's... It is something that I don't take for granted. I, that, that's a memory that will uh, live with me forever, really. Very, very lucky in that respect. That's why my tyres still look brand new. <laughs> right, thanks, Jane. Thanks for bringing, uh, bringing these along. I've never asked this before, but the value of one of these bikes, not one, with, not particularly one with the metal or the white charger, or particularly Robert's bike, but in general, what, if somebody was to find uh, or look to find a road tree somewhere, how much? Very, very difficult to say. I mean, the, the white charger is insured for, it's actually insured for half a million quid. Um, but then arguably it would, you know, it would fetch a lot more. Not that we, we ever sell a bike, we don't. The museum never sells a bike once it's in the collection and that's that's policy. But um, it's, um, they vary from, um, obviously we've got so many, but I think the minimum insurance value is about 100 grand and then it's um, all the way through to the white charger. But the entire collection, um, the museum collection, it's an interesting number, the entire museum collection is about 34 million quid at the moment. 
Flipping heck, can you let me ride one? The classic. I'm honoured. Right, thanks, James. Put your hands together, please. Don't forget, if you have a passing, uh, next to the NEC, the National Motorcycle Museum. Call in. It's a fabulous collection. Thank you.